Hello guys, um, I'm gonna make a video about how to make beats in a video. Um, I promise to do this for a friend and I also think that a lot of other people could benefit from learning how to do this in a, just a proper easy way. Um, so I want to say what is a beat? Um, a beat is um, of course a beat in a song which is noticeable and a lot of people want to edit in that beat in form of a color or transition or camera movement or whatever they want to do but um, I noticed that some people's beats are off and um, well I just want to show you how you can easily find the beats and how you mark them and how you can do colors and yeah so firstly I want to show you how to find a beat um, and you can see I just loaded up a, a song with some, some really easy melody with some beats in it so it was easy and I just ran a picture from this game I just recorded so if you can hear the song here you can hear that the beats come that and that and that and that and that and it's pretty much like you can see all the big ones and that is a beat um, usually in songs, no matter what kind of song it is, they will always stick out. Um, and that's how you can notice beats at first. Of course, you gotta, you, you gotta listen to the song and say... Because th it won't always be a beat just because there is a thing like that. It could be a voice, it could be a scream. Listen to the song and if you're like... Okay, there was a beat in this vicinity here. You know that the beat is... That. That this... Yeah, this is the beat. So you know that's the beat. If you want to keep track of your beats, you can mark them, and you do this by having the pointer at the place where you want to mark them. I usually go um, a frame or two in, just do one frame, and um, press M. And that gives you a little marker here, which pretty much has the beat mark. And you can do this for every beat. And when you're editing, it's going to make it a lot easier if you sit through and do all the beat marking first, and then after that, you go in and you start editing the beats. So this is um, this is the real key to actually getting the beat correctly, is to finding out where the beat is and getting it marked down. So you won't just suddenly put you want to you, like you don't want to put the beat here. You don't want to put the beat here, or here, half through. Like, you want to have it so it's it's the entire beat. Okay. So once you've done this and you've marked your beats, you want to of course do some cool thing for the beat. Um, I'm firstly going to show something for the really lazy people and this is um, you put the keyframe in the middle and you pretty much just go at that and you pretty much just go one or two here and that gives you that three frame clip where the beat is in and this is for the really lazy people. This um, I do not recommend doing this, but um, you can pretty much just do that, and then it's a beat. It's a really s hard beat. Um, yeah, this is like the um, I'd say this is the easiest way to do a beat, um, but it's not best looking way. I mean, if you're just going for like really fast beats, this might be it because you won't notice the, the up pause. And I used to do this, but I don't do it anymore. This is the easy way. Um, another way you can do it is, wait a second, so I'm just gonna undo the split events, is you can say that the beat starts here, so you want to have a keyframe before the beat starts. And you want to go to, you don't really have to do anything here, and you want to go in, you want to find your effect, and you want to put it in, and then you want to turn it all the way down to zero. Right. Yep, zero and then you want to put it out so that it starts at zero and then it slowly fades up and you want to have the up wait, let me, whoa let's zoom in on this you can see this is two and then you want to have the fade out so that it's well, this is where the beat on contrary stops but really you want the beat to stop maximum there so you can see that's there right here you can change that and you just want to tone it down again because it really that when the beat peaks, the color peaks. Um, yeah. Um, and that's also a really good one to do. Um, that's what looks good. Um, if it is a color beat that you're going for. 
Um, another example would be a pen and crop bead. I'm not really a big fan of pen and cropping, so I don't do these a lot. You've probably not seen me doing it, but it would be. Um, um, I did this wrong. Let's undo, 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 undo. Uh, you want to split it less than time before. Um, say three keyframes before maybe. Um, and this is after. You should, if you're doing this, you really need to incorporate into your painting of the actual clip. You don't just add this on top because it will look bad. But the point is, um, if you want the clip to zoom in, let's say um, we can, we can see over here that the bead starts there, and down here on the keyframe you can see right now. So you can see the thing up here moving. Okay. So you want to see that this is where it starts, and this is where the beat happens, at those two. So you want to make a gradual zoom in, so that it's softened up, and then you just want to take one, um, you want to take two keyframes maybe, and you want to go in. And you want to really make it like three or four times. It, it depends on what you like, and then you want to maybe soften it up a bit so that it, it goes something like... <laughs> like yeah um that's just the basic ways of making different beats um i really don't want to go down to how i make my beats and i don't want to go into like yeah you can use all these new blue effects and you can do it immediate like creating map and you can use hl adjust and you can use all these different things and blah, blah, blah. um <laughs> I really encourage people to, well I really want to say, uh, find out how you want to do that yourself. Find out what looks cool to you. Um, personally, I it took me some time to find out how I like my beats the best. And I really think that you should find your own way. Some people even like incorporating colors and, and beats. Um, and panning, I mean. <laughs> how long is this video? Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty much done rambling. Um, marking the beats, finding the correct place of the beats, um, splitting it before so that you have a good up rising and a down section for your beat color. You want to have a, a smooth going in for a transition beat and just play with it really. It's all I can say is you've gotten the basic tool of how to do it. If you want to do it better, Go ahead, play around with it. Um, it's gonna be a lot more fun just editing when you play it along with it. So, yeah, um, that's now for it. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, um, I guess I could do it. Um, I really just did this because a friend asked me to, and I again hope that some other people could benefit from it. So, until next time, see ya.